I've mentioned bee reversing here and there in my past videos, but never did I go into detail with its many variations. So today's video will be all about bee reversing and wave bouncing. I'll first cover how to do it without the second joystick, then with the second joystick. Finally, I get asked this a lot, but yes, this works for any controller. Simply translate what I say to whatever your own controller settings are. So let's start off by looking at the most basic options for Zero Suit Samus' neutral special, the Paralyzer. She can jump forwards or backwards and shoot it. We'll call this the regular Paralyzer. Next up is the Turnaround Paralyzer. By jumping forwards or backwards and tilting the joystick in the opposite direction, then pressing special, she can turn around and shoot it. Now, return to your now for the B-reverses. First, we have the forwards momentum B-reverse. By jumping forward, then pressing special, then within a few frames after that, hit the opposite direction, Samus will face the other way, and her momentum will be instantly reversed. Second is the backwards momentum B reverse. By jumping backwards, then hitting special, then within a few frames after that, hit the same direction you are jumping in, Samus will again face the other way, with her momentum instantly reversed. Another useful property of a B-reverse is the fact that you can do it on the ground while running forwards. The timing is exactly the same as if you were in the air. This can be useful for many characters with projectile specials. Last but not least, we have the Wave Bounce, which also has two versions, a forwards momentum and a backwards momentum. To do the backwards Wave Bounce, you must jump forward, do a turnaround paralyzer, then within a few frames after that, hit your joystick in the opposite direction. The forward wave bounce works the same way. You just jump backwards, do a turnaround paralyzer, then within a few frames after that, hit your joystick back in the opposite direction. Also, if you haven't already noticed, a wave bounce is basically a turnaround B-reverse. An important thing to note is that timing is crucial. An effective way to practice the timing is to go into training mode and slow the game down to half or a quarter speed, then gradually work your way to normal speed. B-reversing and wave bouncing aren't limited to neutral specials only. They can be done with side specials and down specials as well. Let's take a look at Zero Suit Samus' Plasma Whip as an example. If you want to B-reverse it, simply jump forwards, but make sure you keep holding in that direction. Press special, then within a few frames, hit the opposite direction. As for wave bouncing it, jump forwards, hit backwards, then instantly press special. Then within a few frames after that, hit forwards again. Yes, it looks and sounds complicated, but trust me, once you get it down, it's just muscle memory. As for down special, it's actually the easiest. Take Rob's gyro for example. To do a forward B reverse, all you have to do is jump forward in one direction, press down special, then instantly roll the joystick back. To do the backwards wave bounce, jump forward, then hit the lower bottom part of your joystick area while pressing special at the same time, so you can turn around, then hit forward, all instantly after the other. Original position. The forward wave bounce is the same thing, except you're jumping backwards. Some up specials work as well in the same way, but I wouldn't say the effect is too useful, except for a move like Yoshi's Egg. Just to know, B reversing and wave bouncing works anytime you are moving left or right in the air. It's not limited to jumps from the ground. I've only shown jumps so far since it's the easiest to demonstrate. Now for those who find these methods a bit too difficult, there is an alternate way known as B sticking. What you have to do is set your second joystick to specials. With this setup, all you have to do to perform a wave bounce is jump forward or backward, and while holding the joystick in that direction, hit the C-stick in the opposite direction. For B-reverse, jump forward, hit the joystick in the opposite direction, then within a few frames after, hit the C-stick forward. B-sticking is of course easier than the natural method, but the cost is your second joystick's other functions. Also, it is extremely difficult to get it to work with neutral specials. But anyways, now that I've covered all the methods of execution, let's move on to applications. Many characters can make use of B-reverse and wave bouncing, but not all. For those who can, doing one at the right time can definitely confuse your opponent. For example, you can bait them into doing something by appearing to go in for an attack, but then quickly doing a wave bounce. 
Certain characters like Pikachu can utilize a B-reverse or Wave Bounce Thunder to set up a nice edgeguard opportunity. It can also be an effective way to recover back onto the stage from above thanks to the instant change in momentum. It's definitely a handy technique once you've mastered it. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I know this tutorial was pretty heavy. I did try to be as clear as possible with every detail, so I hope I got the point across in the end. With that said, I'll see you soon.